Nick, for the first time it looks like you've got a full entire Clio Cup season ahead of you, which I know you're absolutely relishing. Um, you've been saying you know, you've done a bit of that season, a bit of that season, a bit of that season in British touring cars even, but mm. this time with WDE having done quite a few rounds with them last year, you've really got it together, you've got some great sponsors, the car looks terrific as well, which we're all going to see in a bit. Just tell us about your hopes for the season ahead. Yeah, indeed. Um, after Silverstone last year, I, I didn't really think I was going to ever be racing again, to be fair. Um, a lot of people think because of my name and my, my brother and stuff, I have a lot of money behind me and I've always been struggling in my career <coughs> um, to get the funds and the budget uh, together. Um, so yeah, it was, it was pretty much ready to, to sort of hang up my boots, let's say. Um, and it wasn't until I decided, you know, I'm going to do the best I can to get the budget I need. Um, so after Silverstone, I didn't do um, Brands GP. Um, and I just sat in my bedroom, basically, sat in my bedroom and, and tried to get all this money together to, to be able to race. And, uh, and yeah, I couldn't believe it once, you know, once everything started um, moving well. Um, and I got the opportunity to drive the car again on um, February the 15th. Yeah. Um, and it was so great. And so now, yeah, I've got the full budget to, to race and just hoping to improve as a driver and, and work on my results from last year. Um, anything in the top 10 for me this, this year is going to be great. I'm going to say I'm going to set the world alight. Um, but yeah, if I can keep developing my craft um, and using the budget that I've worked so hard to get to, to achieve some good results, then it's a good year. Yeah, you've, you've clearly got some set goals in mind though, haven't you, I, I mm. guess. Yeah, I think you've been saying yeah, if you can be in the 10 on a regular basis, you know you're doing the job you wanted to do. Yeah, definitely. I'm not, I'm not here to, to make up the numbers. Um, you know, I've worked so hard to, to get in my position and um, you know, my family haven't been involved at all in, in this. Um, so it's, it's quite, um, quite difficult to, to do everything on your own. Yeah. Um, but now I'm here, I want to you know, make the most of the opportunity and yeah, getting into the top ten is super hard. You know, here we had, last year we had um, all, all the drivers within six tenths of a second here at Silverstone. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's going to be tough to get in that top ten, but once I'm there I feel like I can you know, learn from the, the guys that have got more experience um, and hopefully you know, work my way up as time goes on. Okay, and probably what a lot of people might not appreciate is you actually have to have modifications made to your car, don't you, to maybe to compete and race. You might explain a little bit more what that's all about. Yeah, so obviously I have cerebral palsy, so I can't flex my toes or anything, so all of my, my strength comes from my um, thigh muscles, so when I hit the brakes, it has to you know, come from that area. Um, so my legs have to be quite bent in the car. Um, so we have quite a lot of modification done to the pedals to sort of bring them closer to me. Obviously, it's a standard pedal box. Um, so we've made some great modifications. Teams are teams really good at that. Um, and we've taken the clutch pedal out, and I have a hand clutch on the steering wheel. So yeah, it's sometimes a bit of a pain in the butt because it's <laughs> quite hard to turn and release it. Yeah. So in the pit lane, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So anybody that's behind me, just give me a minute. <laughs> and get the car straight, and then I'll. <laughs> then I'll be away. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I just try and, I try and um, be as able-bodied as I can. Um, but obviously, in, in, in Clio's, we're looking for tenths of a second. Yeah. So I've got to make sure um, you know the car's right. Um, I have a seat that's moulded to my body, so I don't move. Uh, usually, I pop ribs like you won't believe during races. Uh, um, yeah, hopefully, if I keep you know pushing hard, it won't be uh, won't be as bad. Okay, well, absolutely terrific ambassador, and uh, yeah. you know we're just delighted to have you on the grid, of course.